Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Scrap Mechanic. It's me, Morbidos, here, and uh, Dunphy is also in this world, but he had to go uh, away from the keyboard a little bit because uh, I think one of his kids are puking uh, their guts out. So he had to go help with that. Um, the point of this video is actually a little bit of a celebration and a congratulations to one of our favorite gaming channels here on YouTube. Uh, they're called Neebs Gaming. You most likely have heard of them. And if you have not, you should check them out immediately uh, after this video and then subscribe to their channel because they are great and extremely hilarious. Uh, we here at Level 10 Gamers, uh, we tend to do things our own way. So to congratulate them on uh, reaching 1 million subscribers, which is quite huge. We are currently at 100, so you can uh, measure the difference, I guess. Um, anyways, to celebrate or congratulate them on reaching uh, that pinnacle, we sort of did something a little bit unusual. Uh, this hasn't been done as far as I know in uh, Scrap Mechanic before. I have been doing some searching and I cannot find anything that tops or even matches this. Uh, this actually started out as a project uh, for me um, to see how big you can actually build. And when I saw that, that they reached 1 million subscribers, I immediately decided to dedicate this build to them because they are very skilled scrap mechanists, all of them. Um, if any of you saw their 1 million subs uh, office tour guide video thing that they did, they showed off their office and it, they discussed, or I think it was Thick that mentioned that they should have their office in Trump Tower. Now, Trump Tower is no place for these guys. These guys are way better than Trump Tower. And there's only one place where they actually fit, but the um, real life versions of these places fell down. So we actually had to recreate them. And we couldn't very well build it in real life because it would be kind of hard to ship seeing as we are located on the other end of the globe uh, so we built it in scrap mechanic I am of course talking about the twin towers or World Trade Center as they were called um, before they fell down now uh, there are some limitations to these uh, levels here in scrap mechanic and I haven't reached it yet, but I'm nearing maximum amount of blocks, I believe, because there is some lag going on in this um, world. It's a flat world, as you can see, so we have a lot of space. Um, this tower, or these towers, we were meant to actually create both, but we realized after building the shell of one that they are quite humongous and would probably crash the game if we tried to recreate it for the two tower effect so we have built tower one um, as you can see when I turn around here well first I think we'll I get some yeah here's a glimpse of Dunphy over there uh, he was away from keyboard so I put him in his very own little colorful merry-go-round so he has something to do while he waits here we are. Here's the base of the tower with the entrance and of course couldn't call it Twin Tower or Trump Tower or anything. It had to be Neeb's Tower. And well it has a revolving glass door. And um, let's see I do believe I have to go first person for this. Here we go. Uh, it is, as you can see, quite large. I know that N is off-center. Uh, it was kind of hard to actually try to fit it on there. This is not a miniature version of the tower. It is 1,275 blocks high. It consists of 
over 1 million blocks. Not all of them are individually placed, uh, but most of the work was actually done before the weld tool arrived. So um, when it finally arrived, I only had to use it for the outer, some parts of the outer shell and uh, some of the inner floorings, but it's kind of hard. Um, it has a working elevator that goes from the bottom all the way up to the top. It's a bit slow. So um, while we enter, well, I can show you this first. These were kind of hard to make. These, uh, I don't know what they're called, these corners. They were kind of hard to make, actually. I had to um, stand on one block and uh, jump and create all of them. So that took a while. Now, as you can see, it is a bit laggy over here. Uh, it isn't because of Dunphy over there. He is in his own little merry-go-around, but that has none, no effect, actually. Now, here is the entrance. Lit up, of course. Also, if uh, the sharp sighted of you probably s noticed that the N is also backlit, which is, um, it's a shame that there is no night time in this game. That would be really cool to see this in night. Um, yeah, so, well, oh, it's a bit trippy, those stairs. Um, let's head in. Let me just, there you go. See, activate. And it's supposed to deactivate, but it doesn't for some reason. I don't know why. I think something with the logic gate probably malfunctioned. But anyway. Um, okay, we actually have to go first person in here as well. Here is the lobby and first floor. I haven't put any furniture in. The guys will have to uh, excuse that. Now, as we make our way to the top, uh, you will probably see... Uh, here we have staircase. This doesn't go all the way up. Uh, as I said, we have reached the maximum amount. Well, we haven't, but we're very, very close to the m maximum amount of blocks, I believe, because it's getting really, really laggy to build. And every time you place a block that connects to this uh, building, the game freezes for a little while and then just comes back. So we're not going to do that today. Here's the elevator I talked about. It looks like it's broken right now, but it really isn't. Um, let's see. Uh, Dunphy actually made... Uh, discovery. That if you put a seat in here, it's a bit smoother. So let's check in a seat. And we are going up, so we have to activate the up function. And we are going up, so we have to activate the upwards motion and retract the stopping. Um, there's a, like an arm that holds. Yeah, that's a lot better, actually. It's an arm that holds the elevator in place when it actually, um, when it's at a um, floor. This isn't functioning for all floors. I think it's top floor and the bottom floor that that works on because I haven't installed the uh, uh, functions yet because of the maximum amount I set. Here you can see a bunch of floors that are done and we're now reaching the floors that are not. I can tell you a little bit about what to expect when we arrive at the top floor while we wait. Since the guys uh, in Neeps Gaming wanted their offices in a tower uh, but they didn't kind of specify what their dream office would be. And we didn't feel like forcing our version of their dream office on top of them. So we went ahead and we recreated their current office inside this building. Uh, of course, there are some limitations to this game, you know, with round blocks. And also there's no monitors or no computers. Uh, and no proper chairs so uh, we did the best we could with the blocks and tools at hand I think I've seen that one million video like 20 times now just to get the images correctly and the colors and everything so 
um, if you haven't seen their 1 million subs office tour video yet, pause this video and go check it. I'll link it uh, in the description and you can go check that out first and then you can come back here and see if you can actually recognize uh, the office. I'm going to fast forward a bit now until we actually arrive. And we have arrived. As you can see, we have decorated the hallway to congratulate the guys that got their name. I'll remove this. Um, and it has 10 million subs on the wall. Just to remind them of how good they are. Of course, the hallway is lit, which is always important. There you go, a nice little uh, blue sky with clouds on it. Some more lights, of course, since they are all for that world peace, I had to give them the peace logo. And here is the little plant that they planted outside their office. We had to bring that in here too. And here's the entrance. Let's head on in. First you can s recognize, or first thing you will notice that isn't here is the whiteboard that they have on this wall. Let's see, can we bring the crosshairs back? Just move this, I guess. Yeah. There's no whiteboard on this wall. There isn't any whiteboard look-alike in the game, so I didn't feel like painting the wall white there, just to sort of mimic. Uh, the walls and ceiling are white. And also, the floor is grey, as the, you will notice in their video they have. Here is Neebs' main recording station with the red wall, or the red stripe wall. And, um, oh, that lights, oh yeah, we gotta turn the lights on in here. Lovely, lights are on. Uh, there you go. He's got his three screens sitting on this little shelf thing that he has, this desk. Uh, this is uh, the best recreation I could do of it with the limitations of the game. Uh, these glass blocks will represent monitors as seen in the 1 million sub video they have. You'll notice there are no interior doors. Uh, that's uh, just because I didn't want to add more um, controllers and bearings to this world because there is really enough. Uh, and here we go. Here is their second computer. I'm not sure who sits here uh, or if this is actually a delegated spot. But they do have their little light and uh, they have an action figure standing on uh, one of the speakers. These will be representative of speakers. They have a little action figure sitting on top of there and uh, so they have in this world too. Uh, let's go in here which is where Simon sits. Uh, also uh, Neebs has a desk here with some boxes on uh, in the video and they have this little outlet in the roof. They don't have outlets so I used to switch to do that. Here's Simon's little monitor and computer is well there isn't anything that re represents a computer. I have managed to recreate some of the side axes they have, but they don't show in the video what kind of machines sit in here, so I didn't want to put in a side axe if there isn't any. Here's their little fridge with uh, water taps, and uh, they have some uh, posters hung up here, here, and here, so the gray areas reflect that. Uh, in here they do have two gray spots on the wall for some reason it might be sound dampening but it doesn't really show in the video so I just painted them. Entering into their bathroom which they did not want to show in the video. Here you go it's a bit brightly lit but it, it also is very bright in the video so hence the bright light. Now they've got their shower in here um, and they've got these rails I don't know if there's if it's planned for a handicap or whatever it is. Got some toilet paper rolls, some uh, hand paper rolls. They've got a little mirror here and some more lights. And of course, their sink. So, then they have some kind of striped uh, things on the wall. Uh, this is also the best I could do. And they have a little shelf 
there is no shelves that look like the one they had, so I just shoved this one in. Uh, kind of looks like a shelf, I guess. Uh, let's head over here. I think this is where Anthony sits, and also where they have their green screen. And they had an extra light sitting on here. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. But then again, it has to be to be uh, the correct chroma key. They have a big poster with a lot of colors and stuff on the this wall, so uh, I did this little mural to sort of mimic that. Uh, this is where uh, Anthony sits, uh, if I'm not mistaken, and he has a side axe sitting under here. And a lot of stuff and clutter on his desk, but uh, there is not really anything to um, look like clutter in this game that looked good here. They have this little shelf where they store a lot of stuff and some boxes, and they have two... Uh, oh, that shouldn't be there. That should actually be there. But anyway, they have two closet looks like on the video. Like, there's two closets on this uh, side of the wall. And they have all their microphone stands uh, around here. And moving along uh, into their next room, where they have a filing cabinet and a couch and some posters. Also, they do have uh, a red picture hanging over here and a little table. I think there's some, it's like an old stand table thingy. I don't know can't remember really some more posters uh, they have two side axes sitting here I've only uh, put one in here because they didn't actually show well I'm not sure if they have two side axes when I think about it because it doesn't show on the video what kind of computer this monitor is hooked up to so it might not be so I put in one side axe with the colored uh, fans that I do have little light and uh, there are some speakers, There's supposed to be two here. I've only installed one uh, for uh, just space saving measures, actually. There's also, this room is a bit more cramped than it probably is in real life. It should have been a bit longer because there's supposed to be room for two posters, but in this game, the blocks are as big as they are. There's no room, so one poster it is. And of course they have a window. Uh, I don't know what this opening here is supposed to be, uh, so I just put it in there and uh, didn't put any glass in in case there isn't. But I do believe that concludes the trip, or the um, guided trip trip around Neeb's offices, as seen in their one million sub video, and uh, uh, recreated as good at, as is possible in this game. Now that we're done with the office tour, we can head out. We did try to actually show this directly to the guys in Neebs. We emailed them with uh, a long ass mail telling them all the specs and why and all the bells and whistles. And we included some screenshots of the world, of course, hoping that we could actually get to show them ourselves. Um, of course, you gotta hope. Uh, guessing our emails probably drowned in the sea of emails they get, so uh, no hard feelings. But um, hopefully, they get to see this video and uh, I don't know, appreciate the work. Now, let's see. We're heading down, so we have to activate that one, deactivate that one, activate this one, and release that one. And we are heading down. That was a light switch that switches off the lights in the hallway on the top floor. While we are on the way down, I guess I can tell you a little bit about this elevator. It has two sets of tires that drag it either up or down the elevator shaft. And by activating the functions with the buttons, you either extend or retract those tire sets. It also has a set of tires that constantly push up against the walls to keep it uh, in where it's supposed to be. I will be making a separate video on 
this particular cart or the elevator in itself I have extracted it from a different world and uh, I can show you a little bit of how that uh, how to actually use it yourself and it will be on the steam workshop so you can download it and use it in your own buildings if you want to and uh, if you do I hope you can send us a link so we can see what kind of awesomeness you have created with our elevator let's skip ahead until we get down and we are down now let's exit through the revolving doors and it's supposed to stop something is wrong with that damn logic gate anyways doesn't matter oh yeah Dunphy's still here hanging around in his little merry-go-round let's speed him up a bit shall we no reason why he shouldn't have any fun oh it doesn't make it dizzy I don't know what will anyways I thought I'd show you the outside of the tower a little bit more giant ass N on there for Neebs of course would have liked it to be a bit higher up but it was just impossible to get up there um, you actually have to go quite far out to not see this tower. So, uh, oh, crap, that's the wrong one. It's a noisy one, isn't it? Oh, here we are. I do believe we are at the end of the world, and it's still very visible. Okay, let's put this on a lift. Move it over here. Let's go to the other side. There it goes. Just outside of... No, you can actually make it out still. We're at the end of the world. And you can see where it's supposed to be. But just barely rendered outside. Let's see. Oh, here it goes rendering back in. So, have we reached the top of world with this actually we haven't there is still more space to build upwards so we could have probably gone even taller okay let's see if we can pilot this somewhat no I really really suck at flying this okay, so that's the one I was looking for over to the tower and land on top, shall we? As we approach you will see the paint from the Neve's office poking through. I could have made double interior walls, or I should have made, but I didn't. Here you go. And we are on top. Now it does get a bit glitchy with this thing. There you go, that's better. Guess it's not actually hard to see where their offices are located. And also, oh, here's the bathroom with uh, the lights in the roof. Yeah, so this is our little recreation of the Twin Towers, with just one tower, that is. Um, let me know in the comment section if there's any thing we missed or should have added, or anything you'd like to see us do with this world. And also, if, you would li if this is something you would like me to uh, put up for download, can leave that in the comment section and uh, 
guess we'll jump down. Now that's a way to break your bones. Anywho, I hope you guys at Neebs see this and I hope you like it. Congratulations again on reaching 1 million subs. You guys were great and uh, I'll see you around.